Hey guys, welcome back to Twisted Toy Garage. I'm AJ. Uh, Trey is actually at work today. Um, it's Friday, Christmas Eve. And I decided to come and do a little bit more work on Linda. Um, to continue on from where we left off. It says, it's just going to be me <clears throat> today. I sound a little sick, my throat's a little scratchy. But, you know, we're going to get to work. Um, so where we left off is... We got the dashboard out uh, today. I'm gonna clean all this stuff out of here, clean all this out, um, get the carpet out, and then we're gonna start taking things out from underneath where the dash was. So stay tuned. Kick it. Just want to kick it with you guys um, and get to work. started taking some things off the dash um, <clears throat> the other day we're gonna try to put everything together so we can um, weigh everything to see how much weight we took out that there so that's not lost get rid of some of these tools Good luck charm. There. All right, guys. So, we got all the tools and everything out of here. I'll leave that stuff back there because we're going to start cutting eventually that stuff. But I'm going to pull this carpet out. <clears throat> See if I can get it with one hand. This ducting for the HVAC. That's what it looks like underneath. All that weight needs to come out. Let's go to the other side. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, bear with me. One hand. Oh. Hmm. Look like I gotta get this unclamped. So, I'm going to put you guys down for a second, and we'll be right back. Alright, so, that plate that was right here, we got it out. So, since we're not putting the carpet back in, the pedal, gas pedal, um, I didn't want to take that out and disassemble that. So, what I did was cut around it. If you guys can see that, we cut around it. 
so I can just take this carpet out. I think. <clears throat> Some wire in here. Roll this back a little bit. What we got going on up here? Get around the shifter. All this wiring. Wish I had another person here. I have to go to the other side. That's our pile of plastic so far. here all right and now we are past a shifter let's get past e-brake look like it goes underneath the e-brake i'm gonna have to make a slice so we can snake that through give me one second okay now that we got this all sliced up and snaked through I mean, it looks like that's the last thing holding us. So, since I have the most room on this side, I'm gonna go to the other side and push everything over here. Whew. Getting it done, getting it done. Well, I'll fold everything. Come on. This is what's underneath. I'm gonna have to get that out. Carpet's out. So there we are. Carpet that uh under carpet um foam is not even foam. It's like the stuff that they put oh padding, that's what it's called. Padding they put on the carpet. Um and then under that was some foam. So this is one pile for the driver's side. Here's the carpet, the padding, and the foam right there. So, with that being said, I think the next step is to get some of this air duct stuff out of the way because this is all this is all connected all up in there. So once I could get some of that out of the way, get this stuff out of the way, then I can clean the floor. Wipe down the floor so we can see what needs to be <clears throat> taken up. Those wires here that you see, we aren't, we're not using these wires. So what we're gonna do is disconnect them and zip tie them somewhere safe so they don't get damaged or water get in them or whatever might happen. But get them out because we're not doing anything with the wiring on this car. Everything that we don't use, we're just gonna tuck somewhere nicely nice and neat so it looks like we got some tins on the back of this bar here this crash bar so i'm gonna start off with those 
see what happens if this thing falls down or so or not <sighs> i don't want to piece it out but we might have to we'll see i'll sit you guys back here hopefully i'm not in the way maybe over here you guys see that angle <clears throat> Alright, so what I found is this little wiring harness module kind of thing was bolted in right here. Took two little tins off and I found some bolts behind it. So I'm going to unscrew that and see what happens. That was for the harness. There's zip ties on it. Let me cut the zip tie off. did a quick uh, search on YouTube on how to get this out because I couldn't figure it out but um, still didn't figure it out but I also realized that I forgot the heater cores back here so I was gonna just start ripping things apart but I'm gonna take it um, cautiously I'm just gonna start unscrewing anything I see all right so that's what I'm in the process of doing now so Guys, back there, and I want to start unscrewing things. I got this heater core exposed. Um, <clears throat> there's a few other little brackets that I see. Um, you gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the heater core. But <sighs> there's some plastic around it, so it looks like I can get rid of all that plastic. Been a battle the pile of crap we have over here this is how far I made it hey guys this is AJ which was to a garage so I'm sitting here um, in a future <laughs> um, editing this video that you guys are watching right now and realized that the camera froze during the outro part of the video so just a real quick recap <clears throat> of what happened um pulled the carpet out i started working on the hvac system that then kicked my butt and decided that 
it was just best to start taking a hammer to it and just taking it out in pieces. Obviously, I was careful not to break any important parts, but I did take it um, take it apart with a hammer. Um, couldn't find any information on how to remove it properly, so and I took all the screws out that I could possibly find. So with that being said, um, we just got to get a handle on this editing and camera and recording thing. Um, we do have a GoPro and it does things good it has its pros it has its cons we're just trying to do the best we can with what we have and hopefully you guys are enjoying our content so with that being said um i see you guys on the next video like comment subscribe we gotta keep gunning kobe best ek in the world